What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. It is Wednesday. What the hell's today? September 30th? Oh my god, it's almost spooky time. I can't believe this. Get the music out of here. What's up, Stubbs? How's it going, man? Speaking of almost spooky time, you ready for Sunday? Because that's going to be a good time. Uh, whoops, that's not everything. <clears throat> um, what do I have to talk about today? Uh, tomorrow's stream might be late. I don't think it will be, but we're recording the first light uh, Spelunk tomorrow. Spelunker is a game exploration podcast. You should totally listen to it. Find it on YouTube or your podcast app. Um, but I think we'll. I think I don't think we'll have more than two hours of conversation about that. So I think it'll be on time and we'll be fine. My camera's lagging, so I'm gonna restart it real quick. I don't know why it always does this. Probably because it hates me. Thank you, Stubbs. Yeah, I saw that at the same time. I don't know why it does that. It's like, if I turn on the camera before I start streaming, it's always off. It's weird. <clears throat> Hopefully that's better. I think it looks better on my end, but let me know if it still looks off. Um, what else do I have? Nothing particularly special going on this weekend, really. I'm going to be trying to put together a... A video like an actual pre-recorded um not pre-recorded you know what i mean like a video essay not really a video essay it's a video review but it's silly and not serious uh i'm gonna be trying to put that together on saturday for my better quest goal so probably won't be doing a bonus stream on saturday i'll still do my normal stream of course do my normal stream every day oh thank you stubs uh but yeah i'm gonna try to make that work I think I have a decent script, but a lot of the jokes are, uh, like, easy. <laughs> they're like very stupid, and I think they're I think they're funny because I like stupid shit. But we'll see how it is. If I if it comes together poorly, I'll put it in there as an unlisted video and still share it in Better Quest just so that it's done. Um, but if I like it a lot, I might actually put it on a different channel than where I archive my streams because. Where I archive my streams is a messy channel. I have everything sorted in playlists, so I don't think it's really messy, but there's a lot that goes on there every day. So if, say, somebody were to find that video and they liked it, and they're like, oh, I'll sub to this person, I don't want them to get a notification literally every day about an archive stream if I'm going to keep doing video reviews and essays and stuff, you know? So let me know what you think about that. I, I think I would want to start a different YouTube channel, or maybe even post it on my personal channel, uh, like just my Chris Bartlett channel. I will criticize you severely, and I will deserve it, I'm sure. Um, a few other things I've been thinking about for the stream. How is my audio? Like, being incredibly honest, how is my audio? Because when I hear myself, like, when I listen to the stream back, it sounds fine in a, like, in, like, my own personal chamber. But when I hear myself on, say, Better Quest, and maybe that's because it's a Discord call. Maybe that's all it is. But uh, I sound bad, like really bad. Uh, and I'm thinking about maybe getting some count sound canceling foam to put behind my desk here, see if that'll help. But I don't know, let me know how that is. And then I need to do something about lighting because I think the lighting looks pretty good with just that one big light back there and this light right here, but my glasses reflect so much light and it looks bad. I don't like it. It's not the end of the world, but it looks bad kind of bad uh those are the things i've been thinking about oh also i'm gonna turn off my follower and sub goal for right now uh i need to figure out a new one f for next month to actually start at the beginning of the month but really they just haven't been going anywhere my follower goal i just set way too high next one i set i will set more reasonably i think i went crazy i wanted to like double my followers in a month and a half which is insane not gonna happen uh, and then my sub, like, I don't think anybody even gets what it is. Mother Dreamer joins the fight is my mom coming on a stream, but I don't think people understand what that is. And I don't think people care because she's never been on the stream. I should have her on a stream maybe. And then I could set that a goal later for like playing an entire game with her or something. So let me know what you, what you would be interested in seeing for a sub goal 
or follower goal. I do want to set the follower goal to a 24 hour stream still because I want to do a 24 hour stream for Extra Life. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun as part of Team Min Max or Team GI or whatever they end up doing. But I'll make it something that we can hit, hopefully. There's always better audio equipment, but you're at a point where you'd spend really big money for hardware upgrade. Discord makes calls worse, certainly, but the sound foam would help make the audio cleaner, but I wouldn't say it's necessary. Yeah, I think I think I'll try maybe just a sound foam because I don't think it's that expensive. I think at last I looked on Amazon, you could get like 20 of them for $40 or something. Um, I don't know. I just want my audio to be as good as it possibly can be with the equipment I already have. This is a pretty nice mic. This is the mic that uh, when Ben Hansen started doing the Colin shows. Uh, God, who was it that had the ridiculously good mic? This is an AT2020 USB Plus or something like that. Uh, but it's the mic that like someone would always call in and my hands would be like, wow, that is the best mic I've ever heard in my life. So it's I don't think it's the mic. I think the mic is fine. It's maybe, it's not a sure mic. It's not, it's not what Hanson's using, which is like a $400 mic, but it's good. Yeah, I can probably find out exactly what I have. I should probably cut this when I uploaded it to YouTube uh, so that it's not just a lot of talking about the stream. Uh, let's see. Am I even logged in on here? I don't know. You guys want my credit card information? Because I can put that on here real quick for you. How do I look at my orders? <clears throat> I never use the desktop version of Amazon. I don't think I bought anything on Amazon on the website in a million years. I always use my phone. Uh, returns and orders. That's probably it. 2020. Search for the word mic, I guess. Oh, here we go. Yeah, an AT 2020 USB plus. Okay, that was right. Pretty much. Yeah, and then I have this foam thing for sound or uh, wind canceling, especially because I had to have fans on in the summer. I haven't had to have fans on that much lately because it's starting to cool off a little bit, which is nice. Uh, and then I have this pop filter as well. I don't know if that's really doing anything, but I like it. They're better mics, but it's big money. Social security too. Yeah, I'll, I'll give that to you, buddy. Right, as soon as I end the stream, I'll, I'll just send it in Discord. I'll just put it in the general chat on MinMax Discord. That'll be good. Um... I lied, your mic is a bit better than mine. Yeah, I don't remember how much it was. It was like 150 or something. It was a decent price, but it wasn't a $400 like uh, the ones Hanson uses. Uh, I would at some point like to get a better camera too. I think this camera is fine for a webcam. I mean, it's as good as webcams get from what I understand, but I'd like to get a legit camera someday, but not anytime soon. But yeah, we're, we are here to play a video game, so let's play a video game. Uh, cross code. It's about $200 now, I paid 50 for mine, oh dang. Is the game working? Hello? Cross code. Are you awake? Uh, okay. What if we go in here? Is that better? Cross code does not seem to want to work from the desktop desktop launcher. Cross code. Where's cross code? Oh God, I probably skipped it. <laughs> God, I can't even find it in here. Let's open this further. There it is. 
Just because it's going to bother me to have that open, I'll close that again. Is that better? It's going to work now. God, the world just really does not want me to play crosscode. Bad things always happen when I try to play crosscode. Launch game, please. Oh, boy. Let me put that back on while I try to work on whatever the hell's going on here. Games on a stream? That's right. It's a crazy new thing I'm trying. Nobody's ever heard of it. Did you watch the MinMax show today, uh, Stubbs? I didn't watch it live, but I'm I'm watching it. I'm about probably cl close to the end, honestly, because that backstage version has his video editing in there, too. I have not. Okay. Because they were talking in there about... Let me try to launch just anything and see if it'll work. They were talking about, like, somebody wrote an email that was like, we started off the pandemic playing... See, Star Renegades works. What's going on with CrossCode? Might just have to play Star Renegades, which I would not be that upset about. Um, we started off the pandemic playing Animal Crossing, which is like this peaceful home sim. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to edit the title and we're going to play Star Renegades because this shit does not work. I don't know what's wrong with it. And I don't have time to troubleshoot. And then we, they said we started off playing Animal Crossing and we ended up playing this traitor game, which is Among Us. But in the middle, he said like, we started off playing Animal Crossing by describing Animal Crossing, but not saying the name. He was like, oh, this cute animal city game. And then we went to playing a game that's like about booby trapping and like booby trapping your friends so that you can get silly looking gear or something. I didn't understand what game they were talking about. This is not very helpful without having this in the episode. Well, is there another big sensation game that I've this year other than Animal Crossing that happened during the summer? So there was something in the middle there that that person was talking about. Start Renegades. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Game audio is a little loud on your end too. Okay. I wonder if it was just that intro though being incredibly ridiculously loud. I did turn it down in my ears, but that doesn't do anything for you guys, obviously. So let me know if it's still too loud once we get into the actual game. <clears throat> you said you were listening to psychology lectures. Uh, I, yeah, I did see you were talking about that in our Spelunkers chat. Uh, what kind of psychology lectures do you listen to that, like, chill you out, make you mellow? That seemed like that's what you were going for, is mellow. Uh, so, the question is, you know, maybe, we, maybe I should just talk to you about it after you listen to the pod. Because there was, like, apparently another big game this summer that was about booby-trapping your friends and getting cosmetics, and I cannot for the life of me think of what it is. And I don't want to ask about it in, like, the MinMax Discord, because I'm sure it's incredibly obvious and I'm just dumb. Why is this show zero hours, zero minutes? Is it just because I haven't finished a run? I better not restart my run. Oh, Fall Guys, that's exactly it. Booby trapping, God, that's such a weird word for that. Yeah, of course it was Fall Guys. Thank you. Uh, I just don't know what they're talking about booby trapping. But... 
<clears throat> okay. So, we just camped, I believe, last time we played. Oh, forgot I didn't go lock. Oh, no, wait, that's right, I can just use WASD to put the camera in. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go to the shield station. Cataclysm. Oh, they have a partner attack now. That's good. Only costs 15. It does not stun. Pushes back by 20 seconds. Breaks 12 armor. 12 armor break seems pretty good. Sunders for breaking armor. Okay. Hmm. Who's this that has 13 armor? That guy? Maybe I should something better against him, like a Sunder. A Sunder breaks a lot of armor if you get the crits, which I can push him back with somebody else, like maybe... Not you. You finally got your stun, which is good. Oh, and Cover Fire I have too, huh? which repairs some shields. Mellow is the goal. Their lecture is on the deep connection between morality, reason, and spirituality. I guess is the most broad way to describe what they are about. Huh. Nice, yeah. I don't really have, like, a chill routine. Which is absurd, because I definitely get into positions where I am not as chill as I would like to be. Sure, let's plant explosives. Um, where's my robot? Oh, there we go. This is my robot. I don't think I'm actually gonna break anything this turn, which feels bad. Oh wait, I can kill him though? That's nice. I'll break that armor. This is my kill shot boy right here, that damage. But yeah, like, I definitely get that anxiety and uh, depression sometimes, and I just end up watching like Game Informer and MinMax videos. That's what chills me out. Luckily, I'm perpetually behind on both, so there's always new stuff for me to watch. I had real problems with my temper today. I need to show like, about the bigger perspective. I hear you. I uh, actually had some serious anger issues on... Was it Monday? <clears throat> yeah, that's actually why I ended up playing Mario Galaxy on stream, because I was not in a mood to play something that did not bring me pure bliss. So I probably want to just break both of these guys with the slash and the... Straight shot, maybe? Oh wait, I can't shoot the back guy with that. <clears throat> need more stuff that hits the back line is what I need. Okay, hold on. What if I cancel yours? Does your discharge break anybody? No. Don't be silly. I can set off my bomb, that's what I should probably do. Does it actually push them back? I don't remember. No, it looks like it just does a shitload of damage. Which is fine by me, I can probably just kill them this turn now. I don't need to use cleave to get a killing blow though. And then I'm gonna get crits. What if I discharge? Here we go. Slash will be a kill shot now. Burst shot. Wow, burst shot doesn't go to the back line, huh? That's interesting. Do you have anything that goes to the back line? No. Shoot. Well, I guess I can just burst fire you and it'll just get pushed back, right? I think it'll automatically target the next person. I would certainly hope so. Good. Eat it. Every time I listen to one of these lectures, I come away asking different questions of myself. Let me ask Chris, are you the man you are, the man you want to be, or are you the man trying to become the man you want to be? Which one is even to do straight? 
Um, wow. I'm... I think I'm the man trying to become the man I want to be. And I guess the man I want to be is what I strive for, but I don't... I don't think that's reasonable. I think once you hit what you want to be, you make new goals to be better, always. So armor does not refresh between rounds? I did not know that. Or between battles, I mean. Uh, who really needs shield? Saboteur, right? Yeah. Can't go that way, so this way it is. How do I repair my armor? That's what I need to know. Because I thought that was something that repaired automatically, but it does not. Attack speed plus five, last two combats. Celestial smash I like, just more damage. And it doesn't piercing? Ooh. It doesn't do any pushback though, like discharge does. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm gonna upgrade you to four. Oh, also I have a gun that I can give him, right? If I go to my items. Because I believe I bought it, I just didn't have. He wasn't high enough level to give it to him yet. Squad. Oh yeah, that's gonna get quite a bit more. Penetrates armor, inflicts burning. Extra damage versus shields. Not gonna equip the sword before either. Nice. Staggers, inflicts rattles, AoE attacks execute faster. That, I don't care about the AoE attack thing, but... Okay, that looks good. <clears throat> That's a really good perspective to have. We all have a tendency towards Sisyphus, perpetually pushing the boulder up the hill, striving for more. But why? What makes it so uniquely human? Sorry, I went, almost went Bob, Bild Bob Buell there. What makes it so uniquely human to want to be better and strive for something, anything? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's weird because my life is, at least my work life in particular, is super shit. So, uh, I feel like there, anybody in my situation would be striving for better. But yeah, well, like when you're Jeff Bezos, why are you striving? Well, to be better, I say, but for more money is his idea, be better. Okay, so this is one of the, like, named guys. I think this is a named guy I already fought earlier, maybe, too? Although, I think you only fight them again on later runs. Um, wow, everybody's aimed at her. She might need to defend, because I don't think I'm going to be able to break all these enemies. Could use Righteousness for a stun. Oh, Cataclysm hits everybody? For 87? And it breaks a ton of armor and shit? Oh my god, that's amazing. <clears throat> so I can break all their armor. It only pushes them back 10 seconds, which is kinda lame, but I can break all their armor and do quite a bit of damage with that. Okay, it doesn't completely break his armor. I don't know why it only showed that it showed that he only had five armor. back way more than 10 seconds, by the way. At least I think it did. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I see what you're saying. I can't say I have a good answer, though. Can I kill shot anything with this? Burst fire? No. Maybe if I combine it with something he does, though. I'd like to just plant explosives, but... There's still two enemies here that need to be broken. Do I have anything? I don't have any more AoE I can do though to break them, because all my AoE comes from the robot. But she can't defend anymore either, so that sucks. I think I need to just straight shot you for the break, and then 
I don't have enough for buckshot, so I'm actually not going to be able to break another person, no matter what I do. Well, she's probably going to take some damage. Oh, I can cover fire her, though. That's good. She is taking health damage, no, just a little bit. This will last for a bit. So yeah, you can only use one of these per battle, I believe. Either Cataclysm or Righteousness, basically, I can use. I don't think even if I get up to 20, I'll be able to use Righteousness, because I used one already. <clears throat> Yeah, for sure, I'd say I'm incredibly bad at these deep existential conversations, but they're fun to have. I would say, like, right into the podcast with them, and I think that would be fun for them to answer, but I don't think Ben would read it, if I'm being honest. Oh, really? Sunder can hit anybody? That's crazy. Hmm, let's see. I probably need to repair her shields. That's really far back, so I probably need to also stun somebody. Or, well, hold on. You may actually. <clears throat> How far back is your burst shot? Pretty far back. So, yeah. And where's this guy? Right there. Mm. So, I would need to stun him before that or have a way to kill him before that. Will this kill him? No. Of course not. Mm <clears> hmm. <throat> Oh, we should get her slash off really early. We should kill anybody with that. No. Hmm. Hmm. What is he doing? Oh. So if I do anything, I'm gonna be countered, or only if I attack him. Is there a way to see what "Don't Move" is if I click on him? Oh, here we go. It just says "Don't Move." I don't like that it doesn't tell me really what it does. It's a counter move, but it looks like he specifically used it on this one guy in the front. So is it only if I attack that guy in the front? I really don't know. Are they, are they all aimed at the same person again? No. One of them is aimed at him. Okay, I should probably just bestow shields, defend, defend, maybe have you stun this guy. Oh wait, not blitz. It'd have to be trick shot if I'm going for stunning. I don't want to get hit by whatever the hell he's doing though. What if I just plant explosives? That should get countered. not doing anything. This guy? Oh, he's defending that guy, I see. Uh, I'm gonna guess a dream is real. In the sense that, like, it is a thing that exists. Even if it is, uh, happening in your brain. Like, it's not like it's physically real. But it is a thing that affects, like, your mood and your outlook in your life. God, I don't know what I want to do here. I feel like this run's crashing and burning a little bit. What if I detonate? <clears throat> He's being guarded. So he won't get hit by the AoE? That doesn't make sense, honestly. Let's go ahead and do it. 
So he got hit by it twice though, but at least I think that's what happened. Okay, how about you? Do you have a killing shot yet against this guy? Yes. And when's his turn? Oh, he doesn't have a turn. turn. Somebody who can kill him sooner, maybe, though. I'm kind of doubtful. Maybe go ahead and discharge. Not in love with that. What were they aiming at? Oh. If I can manage to kill that guy somehow. Because he's the only one that's, like, aiming at somebody problematic, you know. Because he has no shields right now, and uh, I would need to bestow shields. Annoying. I may need to just do it though. I'm gonna go ahead and have him first shot this guy. Have her probably defend unless she can. Maybe she can kill this guy. Oh, hold on. What if I cancel his power? Can she kill him? No. But maybe she can with the discharge. Oh, I think she can. Let's cancel his. Okay, let's let's go for a bit of a hail mary here. Discharge slash on you. Okay, and then you'll be able to burst shot him and hopefully kill him. Uh. Dead. Yes, good. I let her take a lot of damage there, though. So that's really bad. Is he doing the don't move bullshit? Yeah. So I can't kill him unless I'm killing him with somebody that has lots of shields. Maybe this guy. Her... She doesn't really need to do anything, honestly. <clears throat> so I guess go ahead and defend you. Bestow shields. You. Cover fire. What are you working on? Under imagination. Make up things. Turn the imagination to the outside of our commander influence. Does that mean you really more than one first group of strings on the inside? <laughs> Uh, it's probably a great old one. That's, that's what I get for playing too much Bloodborne. Um, I don't know. I mean, the subconscious is certainly a thing. So we'll take a while. Wait, are you doing the same thing again? It's so annoying. Oh no, you're doing Punishing Blast. Okay. So now I need to kill this guy fast here. Otherwise he's going to try to flee. I definitely want to Sunder. I'm going to have to push him back before that though. Maybe with Discharge. I could also just Blitz him. Get the immediate break. I like that. Um, go ahead and go Celestial Smash. And Burst Shot. Oh, Kill Shot it looks like. Oh, that attack looks so cool. Like, that guy has no attacks that delay, but he does hella damage. It's a lot of DNA, and I got some intel because I was a boss man. Beat the commander together. Sweet. Who would have thought this was would have ended this way? These locals, normally docile, have an unexpected feistiness about them. Their blood must be up. So much of ourselves lost to ourselves. Hmm. Oh. What is all this? 
<clears throat> so many dead titans. Is all Norosh like this? Don't touch anything. Titan weaponry is highly unstable, and it's just bad motive to steal from the ancient dead. There must have been some great titan battles here. Sure, war is hell, but that would have been pretty cool to see. <clears throat> More temples. I'm starting to sense a theme on the titan planets. The titans built these structures to last, which is why Norosh is ruled by the People's Earthquake Retrofit Party. You think there's a bathroom in there? I guess it would be titan-sized. That's not useful. Right. Holy shit. <clears throat> Level 6 rifle. Up damage versus health. Inflicts irradiated. Focus cortex. Probably shouldn't get the rifle, even though it's the highest level thing here, just because I already have a level 4 rifle. 10 second stagger. The pro person who was in here earlier was saying get more stagger on him earlier if you can. And inflicts rattled. It's 20% damage versus health on flurry attacks. Okay, I'll take this. Uh, I can't immediately equip it. I could probably level up right now, then. Oh yeah, the art in this game is amazing. So is the music. So is the combat. The only thing that's a little perplexing to me is why exactly it's a rogue uh, style game. Because runs are really, really long, I feel like it would be stronger without the rogue elements, honestly, if it was just a cool RPG. But I haven't actually lost a run and seen like permanent progression and stuff outside of the goatee hunts, what I saw in there. So who knows, maybe it's more justified than being a roguelike than I know. There's a full heal like right by the boss, I should keep that in mind when I go camping that I don't desperately need to get everybody healed. I'm gonna need one point to get in there, and then one more point to get up here. So I have two extra points to spend still. I can spend one getting here, which is some credits, and then one getting over here, but I've already been there, so what's the point? Spend like one more going over here, maybe. Although I don't know if I'm well equipped to take on that lieutenant. Let's go this way for now. Though. Gonna take some damage right at the beginning, I think. Oh no, wait, that gun did not automatically do damage. Yeah, this is a rogue light, I guess, but I've heard the permanent progression is pretty minor. It's just this run I've been doing has been a little over three hours long, and I'm on the second of four worlds, which is bizarre. I do take battles very slowly though, so definitely a little bit of my own fault in here too. I like the idea of immediately breaking all their armor. They don't have that much armor though, so maybe I don't bother with Cataclysm this time though. This charge pushes them all back a little bit. <clears throat> Oh, I did immediately take some shield damage just to show the animation, I guess? That's weird. Hmm. Maybe I Cataclysm just because it does a lot of damage right off the bat. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, the runs are feel like they're very long. There was somebody in my chat at the end of the last stream that I did those. It's not about 40 minutes of my stream and end up having turn the fan on anyway. Um, who said, like, the runs get way faster just because you know what you're doing. Which makes sense. I mean, that's kind of the case with all rogues style games anyway. Just that these ones start off ridiculously long, you know. I like where this fight is going. Seems like I'm gonna crush it.
everybody kill shot him. Twenty DNA for that. Easy. Twenty monies. Fifteen monies. And there's some DNA. I don't like this night phase where it's like, hey, just walk around to the areas you've already been to and grab food and stuff. Or not food, DNA and money and stuff. Just because why not? It's like, why? 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 Why so? Okay, time to camp. Oh, well, let's see if I want to level anybody up first. Crap, 53 for the next level. I want to level him up just because I want something with a. Stagger on it. So, what are these general stats? Those are kind of confusing. Because, is that just for their basic attack what they get out of it? Damage up, attacks reduce armor, damage up, defense up, health damage up. What's up, genetics? How's it going? We're playing Star Renegades. This crosscode just would not launch. I don't understand why. It wasn't even giving me like an error message. It just literally would not even attempt to launch. Weird shit. Okay, obviously use this one. It's free. It just gives a bunch of friendship points. I think I was trying to make these two guys buddies, right? The robot and the new guy. Tax reduced damage. Kind of like that on the robot, because he's AoE. I did do some healing here, though. Her health is really low in particular. Let's give this to her. Yeah. Even though they're already at three hearts, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. Nobody else needs health desperately. Tax reduce damage, give to you. Hmm, I wonder if there's if it's like smart to force combat with the what is it called? The Colossus or whatever early? Um, so that you have these buffs, because they only last two combats. I don't know much about the strategy of this game, I will be honest. Armor piercing, I like that on him. You know, take him up to a heart, which is good. It's an honor to meet you, Xerxes. I really admire the work of the Titanium Brotherhood. You are a believer in Lord Botula? Oh no, I don't really care about the actual beliefs. I'm mostly just impressed with how many government raids you've survived. Regen 5 shields per round in combat, and plus 25% damage versus marked. Interesting. I have one more point. Who can do something for one point? Damage versus marked up. I can heal somebody's health. Tax calls bleeding. Crit damage plus 25%. Or I can heal somebody, but I don't think I need to do that. Let's give damage versus marked to... I guess to him, just to keep increasing their affection. I don't know. Told I was an expert. Oh, you were told wrong. I'm sorry. You may leave. I will not be offended. I will cry once you are gone, but I won't pretend I'm okay for a little bit. Is there no way to repair armor? Wasn't there like an armor station somewhere? Credits crates. This area is locked, so it doesn't even matter what was over there. There's an equipment crate. Whoa, what's this white box with the red cross on it? Anyone have any guesses? Nobody? It's for healing. It's full heal, which is good. Can I take that guy realistically? Galac Alruia. Can I view his stats from here? Okay, yeah, I can. 
weak against nitro damage. I don't know if I have nitro damage. I'm weak against pulse damage as well. I have either of those in my squad. I don't know what the symbols mean is the problem. Oh, there we go. Pyro? Pyro? Wait, isn't it? The elements? Pyro? I don't know. What if I go to you? Concussion. Okay, yeah. Concussion. Pyro. Concussion. It's all pyro and concussion. I don't I don't think I can take that guy, honestly. I think it's unlikely that I will come out in good shape. Although I do have this full heal box, so if I can take him at all. Even if I end up in really bad shape by the end, then I may as well. And he's really the only place to go, so let's go for it, man. It's freaking fight. I've been lied to before I'll live. Fair. I wish I had some freaking armor here, man. What? Got an immediate attack on? That's not cool. Oh, that's where I took that armor damage last time, the stupid calibration bot. I love Cataclysm. It sets you up so well for the rest of the fight. You get so much fury back from breaking all that armor. Like I, that only really cost me three, which is crazy. And everybody got delayed. God, Cataclysm's so strong. Everybody got broken, I mean. Uh, I, I think I'll just plant explosives for this turn, because then I can detonate it next turn and do a lot more damage. Hmm. <clears throat> And then maybe I should mark. Cause isn't this yeah this marks? Maybe I should mark somebody. Cause I'm gonna do an AoE attack next turn, so there's no point in doing that kill shot. But maybe I should lower this guy down so that he's ready to get kill shot at next turn. Like 100 percent guaranteed gonna get kill shotted. How fast is mark target? Oh immediate. So yeah, let's just burst shot. Gain some shields back, that's annoying, but not the end of the world. Detonate. Beautiful, I love it so much. Where happened to all your friends, man? Oh, he is about to hit everybody. And without a. Oh, wait, I have Buckshot. Yeah, I can still stun him. His armor's already gone. I think Cleave is still more damage though, right? Yeah. And then Celestial Smash is the higher damage one for sure. What does Enrage do? Because he's getting enraged and that scares me. break him this turn either. Unfortunate. He's only hitting her though. Is enough force to take out all of her shields and hit her health a little bit, but I think she'll be okay. Let's just go slash. Oh, I need you to mark. You should have done that last turn actually, but I didn't think about it. Or no, I had to buckshot, that's right. Celestial Smash is fine for you. Well, actually, you should probably repair her shields because she's going to lose all of them. And then you... Just straight shot. Seems good. Where 
you're definitely gonna want a burst shot. Yeah, he's super dead. Everybody just beat him up. I'm surprised he didn't even go for a retreat this turn. He was dead either way. I'm just surprised. I was just following orders. Uh, now you did. When I am killed eventually, I wonder what others will say about me. Probably not much, but for a planet that thrives on tourism, the locals sure aren't very friendly to tourists. I love all the quaint Norosh customs, like punching tourists in the back of the head and taking their hollow wallets. I'm always impressed by the Noroshian architecture. Nothing gets me more excited than earthquake space retrofitting. It's worth traveling for. Some more gear. Level 6 rifle. Oh wait, are they all rifles? Oh no, one's a blaster, but I just got him a new blaster that I like a lot. So this one's plus damage versus health, inflicts are radiated. Steals 3 to 9 armor on heavy, normal, and light attacks. Okay. Is he level 6 yet? No, so just stash it. And I should have enough to level him up. Dumb fire. Oh, finally something with some delay. Pierces 50% armor, 105% damage versus shields. <clears throat> Burns if it's a crit. Nice. Oh, by the way, I am probably, almost certainly, to make sure I have the money for it, but I should have the money for it. It's only like $25, I think, Hades. Uh, but I should be playing Hades on uh, Sunday, for Indie Sunday. Which I know people will be excited about. I'm excited about. Uh, let's see, I need a squad. You. Wish I had more armor. I wish these things would give me more armor instead of just weapons. Okay, so I could explore one more node here, like this one that gives money. But I should probably go take my full heal first. I can't even tell if there's a combat down there, there's not an enemy, so there shouldn't be, right? confused about the structure of the game because they originally told me when I entered the first map to get to this thing before the timer was up, but that doesn't seem to actually matter. It seems like you battle the same thing no matter what. Yep, no enemy there. Just gain credits. Okay. Arrives in one day, so I can get in one more camp, and I will. No, don't actually go to that yet. Camp. So do I still have the buffs from the previous day that said they last for two combats? I wonder, because I only did one combat. Make sure to be there for a bit in case you need a consultant. Alrighty. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I appreciate that, Stubbs. Uh, oh yeah, obviously use that. It's free just to get a little bit of relationship. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to give the plus 30 max shields to her, honestly. I want to give attacks reduce damage to you. Damage plus 10%, attacks reduce armor, defense. Last two combats. 
And it's like, he's my damage dealer, though. Like, giving these damage things to other people just feels odd. Attack speed up. Five seconds. Mm, I think I kind of like the idea of giving that to him. Although he's, I don't know, maybe giving it to her would be better because of how often she gets targeted. I don't need to heal. There's no point doing that. What else does she have? Oh, right, I don't really like that. Let's give armor piercing to him. Of course, I won't tell you what to do, but I'll answer questions. I know I had some, but I'm less spoilery than Google. Oh, Google's spoilery. Good to know. I assumed Google would just be like uh, porn pictures with how much people talk about how thirsty they are for this game. I'm sure those are there as well. Tax mm -hmm. drain shields. Who would I give damage versus mark to? It's like I will be marking somebody, most likely. But who do I give it to? Probably to her, right? She's my other big damage dealer. He deals a good amount of damage too, though. Plus, these two have a killer combo attack, so maybe I should be making these two friends. Okay, who's got another one that costs one? I don't want to heal. So I guess this. Attacks cause bleeding crit damage. Give that to him, probably. Yeah. You don't need to Google when the picks are in-game. The behemoth has arrived. Mother says I should kill you quickly, but I think I'm going to take my time and enjoy this. There's the Norash behemoth, just as rude and ruthless as the first one. Go show him who owns this dimension. Okay, boss number two. Real boss number two. After we save the Titan core, I'm looking forward to a lengthy technical explanation of the science behind it. I'm not. Buddy, what you got? <clears throat> Horrid Shriek. This should be fun. Okay, so everybody was immediately intimidated. What does that do? I cannot see <laughs> behind the skills. That's annoying. Slows down all actions by five seconds for six turns. Good lord. Okay. 60 shields. Cataclysm, not as useful here because it's not a big group. Still would shred some serious armor, but not enough to be worth, honestly. If I just blitz this guy and then sunder him to break some armor and get a break for this first turn. Although maybe don't even bother with trying to get the break because he's only targeting one person this turn. It is 168 damage and it will break all her armor. So I could have her defend. Shot probably is fine. Yeah, probably just straight shot. Celestial smash. God, that is really not doing a lot of shield damage. Oh yeah, you lock target is probably good. Because it's got so much armor, I gotta shred that. I should have actually looked at those skills and made sure I was using the ones that shred the most armor. It's the most important thing at the beginning of the fight. Mmm, you've even you're even tastier than you look. I don't know how I feel about these guys talking every single turn that they do something. It's like unnecessary, you know. Bay is bleeding now, I think. Oh wow. Start with an attack, why don't you be a cheater? Okay, I can definitely break him, and he's targeting everybody with a massive attack, so I definitely want to break him. Let's go bestow shields on her. She can break with just a slash, so that's perfect. 
Although, hold on. I want her to sunder, huh? To break the armor, yeah. What do you have that breaks armor, bud? Anything? Oh yeah, dumb fire now, that's right. It's a lot of armor breaking. Why is it showing I'll only break one armor? That doesn't make any sense. Why did that not break any armor? I don't understand the mechanics that are going on here, clearly. What did I do with them? Oh, was, oh, he was pinned down from that weird preemptive attack. So what a, what does he have going on that's making him like not able to be broken? His armor. He gets staggered considerably more because it was he's rattled. I don't see anything on him. How do I go into inspection mode? Traits. If stunned, goes rabid and retaliates with deadly force. Can attack twice per round. Plus defense versus staggers. Okay. I don't know why I wasn't breaking off tons and tons of armor there, because I should have been. He's still doing the same AoE bullshit. Let's go ahead and break him. With the blitz. With the freaking weapons that I have on, blitz is a 55 second delay, which is pretty much the entire turn, which is insane. Why are... So do you only break armor after you've broken through shields? Because that doesn't seem like it makes sense to me. But that would seem to be the case, because like this is not breaking shields for some reason, and it, he doesn't seem to have anything that's making it where I can't break his shields. So I guess I may as well just cleave. I don't know. It's very weird. Titan strength costs so much. I don't want to do that. Bestow shields on you. Guess go ahead and just burst shot since I'm not going to break armor either way. I wish I understood this game better. That was a lot of damage. Holy shit. If I go, okay, now I can break shields. I guess you just don't break shields before, or don't break armor before the shields are done. Just never notice that. Wait, he doesn't even have an attack this turn? Where's his attack? It's showing that he's gonna hit everybody, but he's not on the timeline. That's weird. Nope, don't sunder. Is he still marked, by the way? No, he's not. I would like to re mark him. Like, I don't understand why I can't see where he's going to attack. Should I just be defending with everybody? Because if he's going to get that hit off, I should be. But maybe he's got delayed so hard that he's in the following turn. That's the only thing I can think of. Let's see. Go ahead and go Celestial Smash. You don't have any good armor breaking stuff. Just straight shot, I guess. <laughs> he got pushed back really hard. So if I stun him, he's gonna do something terrible to me next turn. But I feel like I need to stun him. So he doesn't hit everybody really hard right now. If stunned, goes rabid and retaliates with deadly force. If that is the case and I can't stun him, I should probably just use Cataclysm. Instead of Righteousness. Because Cataclysm will also shred a lot of his armor. But for this turn, maybe I should just defend with everybody, because that's a lot of damage he's going to do otherwise. Or 
All right, bring it on, bastard. Aha! I will bring your half-eaten corpses to mother and she will pet me and say, good girl. Okay. Some weird energy you got going. Don't hypnosis me. Oh no, I needed him to not, she's the only person I really needed to not be stunned here. Uh, you jerk. Okay, go ahead and get dumb fire. Well, hold on. I want to make sure he gets stunned in one hit. Or broken, rather. Okay. Straight shot. Oh, wait. She should be cleaving. So, straight shot gonna do it in one hit is the question. Yes. Sunder. Dumb fire. Perfect. So we can go ahead and Cataclysm. He's still pushed back into next turn. That's amazing. I should break through almost the rest of his armor. Can't do just a shitload of damage. Straight shots. Uh, I've already broken through all his armor, so I can just burst shot. Is he still locked on? Uh, no, he's just rattled. So let's go and lock target again. Oh, he's gonna act immediately, and he's gonna hit everybody again. And I have restored no shields. I feel like I probably don't have much of a choice with the stun him. Okay, so you can use each one once per turn. That's good. I already used Cataclysm, but I can still use Righteousness. So maybe I need to stun him. He goes Rabid versus Stun, though. I'm not sure if that's worse than taking this damage. I guess everybody's going to survive it, right? Even more so if I just defend with everybody, so maybe that's the safer thing. In fact, it's definitely the safer thing. Oh, you're good, girl. I get it. Oh, I hate hypnosis. It's such bullshit. Okay. That's fine. Go ahead and blitz just to push him back as much as possible through the next turn, even. Mm, and then go ahead and... Just burst shot, dude, at this point. Okay, yeah, you're almost dead. I don't need to bother with restoring shields. Ooh, actually, kill shot here. Oh my god, he can do so much damage. Excellent. On to world three. You're tougher than I. Dead. Another amazing job, team. Every time I see a behemoth smash into flaming wreckage, the universe feels a little safer. Now for the bad news. The Imperium has outflanked us once again. They've set up another extraction operation on Dagon. So you know the drill. Buy some new gear, talk to the new recruits, and then hop on the shuttle. The hero's job is never done, eh? Hell yeah, Dagon. They have some great casino resorts on that planet. Yeah, I should go see who I want to recruit first. Marksman or Empath? I've taken down some nasty critters in my day, so the Imperium ain't no match for my laser rifles. Their robo-pelts are gonna make for some fine rugs. This is the guy who killed the giant ovaloid on Crenshasis. I heard that was a mess. Guts everywhere. 
Um, I already have three backliners, so probably not. Is she a frontliner? Empath doesn't sound like a frontliner, but maybe. By the power of Shakralaka, the great noob age, goddess of crystals. I'll make sure the Imperium's aura bleeds blood red. Get ready to be reincarnated as a space mite. I was a member of her meditation studio, and I never got my membership fees back after they closed. I guess I kind of have to, because I don't think the marksman... Although, somebody was on my stream the other day being like, you didn't take marksman? How could you not take marksman? Marksman's the best. Uh, so marksman is apparently very good. But he's also, like, a backliner, very clearly. There's no way the marksman is not a backliner, right? I guess we'll take the impact. I hope that she will work on the front line. Okay, let's see what she's got going on here. First of all, let's just go squad. She's only got 65 armor and 138 health, so she's definitely not a frontliner. I guess I could have just moved him to the front line and taken the marksman at that point, but... What are you gonna do? Let's see what we got going on with her, though. I can level somebody up, first of all. I should probably level up my main character. She's the lowest level. By one. By two, compared to him, jeez. Auto health heal. Five per round for two combats. Health damage plus 33% for two combats is also very good. Probably take that. Sever. 50 second. Oh, that's a delay attack, maybe. And it rattles them, too. It's very good. I like that a lot. I'm just gonna level her again. Uh, I still want to look at her skills, though. Mind Knife, which she can hit anyone with. That's interesting. Crit has a slight delay on it. And it pierces all shields and armor if you're critting. That's pretty cool. Or a speed, free action. Um, what does it cost, though? Doesn't say how much Fury or anything costs. Doesn't say it costs Fury at all. Speeds up actions by 5 seconds. Only one aura can be active at a time. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Attacks execute 5 seconds faster, plus 25% crit damage. Looks like it keeps scrolling over, but it won't let me scroll. Oh, there we go. Defend, obviously. Aura, regen shields. Or regen shields, rather. Plus 15% defense. So she's for that buffing. Which means she almost certainly should not be on the front line, but here we are. Free action has an extra action this round. Oh. Inspire. Can only be executed once per combat. Costs 20 Fury. But it gives them an extra action. Interesting. Maybe, oh, actually, it probably, it looks like it gives them two extra actions. Hmm. So the question is, who do I put on the front line? Because she, her health and shield is terrible. She will instantly die on the front line. I guess I put the saboteur, even though he's very important. I don't want him to be tanking attacks like that. But I don't really have much of a choice. I've been left with no choice. See, weapons. I have nothing for her. Do I have anything that I can buy for her? No. Oh, wait. Nitro gauntlets are for her as well? Oh, no, they're not. Don't be silly. Or wait, maybe she's just not high enough level? Because it looks like she's highlighted there. Yeah, she was definitely highlighted there. Level 7 epic rifle. Plus 40% damage on all attacks. So that's pretty crazy. Light attacks execute instantly. Wow. I do like the weapon it already has. 
penetrates armor 25%, inflicts shield 7, plus 28% damage on all attacks. I will definitely buy that. I can't equip it yet, but I'll buy it. I already like the blaster he has. Plus 25% damage versus health. Inflicts a radiate at 7. Steals HP with all attacks. Her, that AoE attack is thing is doing nothing for her right now. <clears throat> but I like the extra stagger and stuff. Let's see what they have in the... Oops. Gadget Merchant. So I, I know there's a lot of people who don't even have, like, armor on yet. Like him, for example, and he desperately needs it. So all this stuff is for everyone, it looks like? That's good. <clears throat> plus 40 health, plus 15% health defense. Ooh. I like that a lot. Plus damage versus shields. Steel shields on attacks. I like that too. Plus 10% armor piercing, plus 20% damage versus health on flurry attacks only, though. I like these two a lot. Plus 16 armor. That's a lot of armor. Plus resist corruption damage. Can't afford all three. So which two do I take is the choice here. Plus health and health defense. Plus armor and corruption defense. I'm gonna buy these two. And then I can't actually equip any of that stuff though, because nobody's high enough level, I don't think. He's the one that I want to have that, but he's not a high enough level. Okay, well, let's just move on. to Dagon. We're ready to get a free camp here. I mean, all the camps are free, I guess. They don't cost anything. I guess they cost a day normally, so it's technically a free camp. Whatever. She's obviously not friendly with anybody yet. Oh, she has Talking Cure, Heal Health 50%. That's decent. No valid targets. Oh, she ha it has to go to a one-heart companion. I don't think I've seen that before. Shield piercing, armor piercing. Health defense plus 15%. Ooh. Do you quite like the idea of giving that to him, maybe? <clears throat> oh, yeah, defeat the behemoth together. Should obviously do that, and that's with you. Sweet. Two hearts. They should have an attack together now. Do you remember when the Star Union raided your compound in Z6? They burned that one to the ground, didn't they? Yes, it was most unfortunate. I lost my holodesk collection. And then there was another raid on your ranch outside of Slab City, right? Did you release the hostages, or did they have to shoot their way in? A little of both, actually. Finding the proper balance is key to any good compound raid. Okay. Preach combo attack. Hits everybody 70 damage. Crit bonus, 52 more damage, 4 armor break, 30 pushback, 125% damage versus health, it pierces armor, irradiated, bleeding, seems pretty good. I like giving health defense to you, honestly. Health damage to you. Oh wait, it has to be a one heart companion at least to be able to use that damn. Can I not get out of it now? That's so stupid. Oh wait, backspace, that's right. Not escape, backspace. Attacks reduce damage. I oh my no, and that's a her. Fuck you, game. Fucking misclicks. Why not have them like in a list over here or something so you can't misclick them because they're literally like, like I'm on his arm and I'm on clicking on her. That's why that happened. 
dumb. That's really bad. Armor piercing for him. Bikes. That's probably cheating. I hope this goes well. It's my last tour. Defense versus concussion. Weak against concussion. That's good. These guys are level 8 and 9. Jeez. I'm not ready to take any of them on yet, that's for sure. Want to dance around them if I can? Well, it doesn't look like I can. Welcome to Dagon, team. Still beautiful country here. Almost makes you forget there's a war going on. Unfortunate oh, never mind. That's the end. Unfortunately, rampant industrial production has rendered each and every organism incredibly poisonous, so don't lick any mutatodes. Okay, I'm over here. We've got the Empyrean, Imperium hemmed in. After Dagon, there's nowhere else for them to run. If you stop them here and now, we stop them forever. I wonder what the ship is, if that's like a secret level, or if that is the last level and they're like, there's nowhere for them to go, except they're on their ship still. Dagon is well known as the home of secret Star Union military bases where strange new technologies are tested. I'm sure we even should. I'm not sure we even should save it. Whatever. Okay, that's not a boss. That's good news. A pair bots. There's nothing there, though. Literally. Which sucks. Over here is also not a boss. And I can enhance somebody's shields, which I like. So that's probably the way I want to go first. Oh, she has no armor yet. <laughs> the girl in the back, that is unfortunate. And I start with no fury, which makes sense, but is unfortunate. <clears throat> All right, she has a really good delay move now. <clears throat> what do we have going on here? <clears throat> that guy's firing at everybody with a frag grenade. Not cool. Otherwise, the damage is very spread. Your discharge pushes them all back a little bit, but it... God, I really would like to get some uh, extra stagger on him. That would be very powerful. I don't think I have any other AoE. I don't really know. I'm not really completely familiar with her moveset here yet. Spire costs Fury. Speeds up actions by 5 seconds. Why can't she use that? Does she automatically start with that aura on? And this just, what, switches her aura between time and shield? Interesting. So Mind Knife is literally the only actual attack she has. Everything else is about making people better. So these buffs only last literally one turn. It's literally like, hey, make them do something more impressive this turn. Attacks is give faster, plus crit damage, or plus defense. Interesting character for sure. Celestial Smash doesn't have any delay on it. Oh man. <laughs> Jesus. I could probably kill something with just this plus Celestial Smash though. Yeah, that's pretty sweet actually. What if I mind knife something? Does that get me killed? No, I don't think so. Is there any way... Can Blitz hit the back line? No. Can Sever hit the back line? No. Okay, that guy's gonna be dead, so it doesn't matter what he's doing. That frag guy, there's no way for me to stun him. 
because they can't hit the back line. I could have her just raise her own defense, maybe. That honestly kind of feels like the best option here. Having that guy on the front line, like, I can't even tell where my straight shot is going to hit or where my anything is going to hit once this guy's dead. So I guess you just plant explosives. Um, you maybe defend? Because you're going to lose all your armor this turn as of right now. his attack. Oh wait, she's gonna take so much damage right now, she needs to defend. She's too weak. I don't like battle passes, honestly. People have praised them a lot as like the almighty solution to loot boxes. I would prefer loot boxes. It's much easier for me to ignore a loot box than for there to be a paid battle pass where I feel like I, if I don't purchase that, I am not making progress on the level that other people are making progress. Um, and then buying it and feeling pressured to make the most out of that money that I have now spent. I don't like it. I, I really don't at all. Okay, let's detonate. For sure. Couple of eight. And let's maybe Celestial Smash. No, 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 that doesn't look good. I probably want to just try and break everybody this turn. Who can I break? Oh, you can break literally whoever you want. With the extra stagger you have. So let's break that guy. Go to Celestial Smash. Mind the knife. Will that get a break on anybody? No. It'll almost kill this guy, though. Will it kill that guy? No. Don't be silly. Didn't you get something with delay? Yeah, dumb fire. Just go ahead and burst shot and kill something though, honestly. And then it doesn't matter if they get delayed, right? My knife, this guy. Oh shit, he's not gonna get delayed, huh? Well, that was dumb of me. Slightly dumb of me. Oh, I survived with like one health. Power shield zone? Yeah, he's gonna take some damage here, probably. Fuck. That's unfortunate. That oh, wasn't too much damage, though. Everybody just do a thing. Oh, wait, what's Breach? Oh, yeah. Oh, it only costs 10 Fury. That's interesting. Way less damage than Cataclysm, and less armor. Better delay, though. 30 second delay on the entire enemy team is pretty strong for 10 Fury. Oh yeah, discharge is immediate, so that's all I needed to click really 64 DNA for that. Nice. Uh, my new girl took a lot of damage there, and I lost all my armor off of my frontliner already. Or no, wait, that's not my frontliner. Let's see, I want to level up. I need to get him to 7, right? Let's look at my inventory real quick. Let's 
So that's trash. Could I have sold those? Maybe I could have sold those. So I need my robots probably to get to level 20 for the Nitro Gauntlets. Or level 20, level 7, level 20, where'd level 20 come from? Battle passes always lock you into playing a crap ton. Yeah, in a certain time. Honestly, I'd be okay with battle passes if it was like, this game is out and here's the battle pass for the game and that's the life of the game. That's just a progression system, you know, that's just a level up, a level up system in a competitive game. It's because they're time limited that they're such a pain in the butt. Time limited loot boxes are stupid fucking bullshit too that make you feel pressured to play a game in a specific time frame when you might not want to. And more often than not, that just drives me to never play the game again. Because it's like, I don't feel like playing this right now, so I'm not going to get the stuff that I want. So I'm just not going to go back and play it later either. Because fuck this crap. Um, I think that's... I want that on him, right? Or no, wait. This I want on him. Really badly, actually. And I can get him to level 6 right now, right? So let's do that. What's the new skill he got? Place your bets. I'll go take a look at that. Not sure if it was a new card or a new skill. Uh, give you this. Oh wait, you can't equip that, really? It definitely said that anybody could equip it, so that's pretty lame. Because I specifically bought it for you. Who can actually use that then? Nobody. She's obviously not a high enough level, but... So who the hell is this for? Or does it go in a different slot? Is that why? Oh, okay, it goes in a different slot. Good. Thank God. Oh, he already had one on, actually. Hmm. I don't even know if that's better, necessarily, than having that five armor. I'll do it anyways, then. And I could give her the one that's 5 armor and 20 health. Sure. Then I guess you can take this thing that's giving 3 armor. It's something. So what do I still have in here? Got level 7 gauntlets, which... What do they do? Penetrates armor, inflicts shield, plus damage on attacks. Definitely rather have that on him. So I need to get him to 7 for that, and then I need to get you to 7 for this. But I don't have enough DNA for anything right now, obviously. Um, the Empath has really bad shields. I should probably just do her. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Retains credits. That's just going on lockdown, but there's nothing over there it doesn't look like. Yeah. It enhances armor. I do want that really badly. But maybe I, maybe I should just go through and around to it, because this has more stations. It's like, this has credits, this has credits, this has equipment. And then I'll be at the center, and I can continue through to the other side. Can I? Oh, right here. Here we go. There's a boss there. Maybe I'll be strong enough to fight him at that point, though. Plus, there's equipment there. I can always come back this way, too. I think there's another boss guy, yeah. Or no, I just don't... Oh, I can't tell. I feel like he's probably a named guy, though. Takes credits, and then that'll lead down to the armor as well. So, yeah, let's definitely go up for now. Where am I? Air Genshin is more like Fire Emblem Heroes. Yeah, it's gotcha stuff. Gotcha mechanics. Which I don't like. I still want to try out that game. But I don't like gotcha mechanics. I'm surprised Michael hasn't started playing that. That seems way up his alley to the billionth degree. Maybe he doesn't even know about it, honestly. He's just been starting Monster Hunter World lately. Imperium Tech Common. I don't know if that's worth going out of my way an extra like peg here for. I'd rather just come up here, I think, and get my money. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, so it does start on aura speed, and it does hit everybody. That's actually really powerful. Everybody's actions are faster. Or everybody's actions... Or, or everybody's regenning seven shields per round. Interesting. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Maybe... Breach would break. Looks like just one. Put a lot of people close to being broken, though, as well. I don't know if it's worth using right just yet. It also does a lot of damage, though. Maybe it is worth using. Place your bets as my new attack. Cancels Overwatch, Cover Fire, Repost. Oh, that's awesome. Crit is a little extra damage, breaks a little bit of shields, delays a little bit. Oh, it does rattle them, which makes staggers work better. That's nice. And it hits any position, which is very good. That's his first attack that does that, other than Trick Shot. And he gets Righteousness. Okay, I feel like I just want to try to break as many people as I can here. Which, you know, not being able to hit the back row makes it impossible to make everybody broken. Unless I do use something like Preach. Because Discharge is not going to break this guy, and I don't really have... Well, I guess I just looked at him, and he has... Place your bets that he could use on somebody in the back line to push them back a little bit more. She has a mine knife also that could hit somebody in the back. Huh? Decisions, decisions. Okay, what if I just go sever? On you. You or you? Which one's one? Well, they're both the same, so it doesn't matter. So there's one break. My knife on you. And then discharge. That'll give me another break. The might knife. Straight shots. Not quite a break. So I would have to blitz for the break, which is unfortunate. But I guess I'll do it. And then you could probably just kill somebody, huh? Who's the one that's left? No, I can't. Get to him. He does so much damage, it's insane. What's up, Rich Dizzy? Tried to pass out, but I wouldn't drop by, say hey, and leave a lurk. Much appreciated. How's it going, man? Other than it being midnight or whatever the hell time it is there. Oh, actually, it's probably like. What's the point? Do you live Eastern or Central? I never remember. There's too many people. All in different time zones. Oh man, I have a lot of fury. Could do Cataclysm. I feel like it's probably not necessary at this point. I mean, he can just burst shot somebody to death. Oh no, they recovered some shields, so maybe not actually. Maybe just Preach? I don't know. Pre There's not very many that can be pushed back. would be better off using Cataclysm for sure. Okay, let's do it. Can't be too greedy with my theory here. I should be able to just kill all these guys pretty easily. My knife. Kill shot anyone. Who's the one that's right there? There we go. Mm, straight shot. First shot. Oh, wait, he's the one that's in the front, though. Don't you have something that hits the back? Yeah, lock target. There we go. Sweet. 
Pass out, hide! Oh, by the way, I was talking about this earlier while it was just stubs in chat, but I'd like to get everybody's take on how my sound and video are, audio and video. Like, super honest, hardcore takes, because when I listen to the stream, it sounds mostly fine. But when I hear myself on Colin shows, like Minfax and uh, Better Quest, uh, it sounds like poopy. I don't know if that's just because it's a Discord call or if my audio needs more work than I realized. I'm thinking about maybe getting some sound dampening to put against the wall here behind my desk. I think that might help a little bit, some sound dampening foam specifically. So let me know what you think about that. And then also video. The main thing is the glare on my glasses. How much is that annoying? Because I know it annoys me. Oops, no, don't go there. I have quite a bit of DNA here. Go ahead and level up. Let's get that. Still level him up too. Damage up 10%, defense up 10%. For a card, obviously. And he just gains a little bit of health, which is always nice. Oh yeah, and I do need to get him to level six or seven for some gauntlets, so yeah, let's do that for sure. I forgot to put my gun or whatever to him, but that's fine. Oh, I didn't even notice it shows how many cards they have left that they could potentially use. That's good. So no, about. Let's see, health defense up on you. You have one thing that's like a light heal and it gives shield defense. Let's use that on her. I like you, or I like you giving tax reduced damage to you. Because he always gets an AoE off, which reduces all the enemy's damage, which is amazing. Oh, and that's all I had? All, all I had and stuff for. Alrighty, man, I'm gonna lurk out and call it a night. I've been a little under the weather today and I'm tired. No worries, Rich. Thanks for coming by. Hope you feel better and hope you have a great night. So I guess we're going here next, right? Oh, there's a boss up there? I didn't even notice him. Am I ready for him? Because I doubt it. I'm weak against... Oh, he just has low health. This is weakness. He has laser damage. Plus defense versus AoE. Oof. He becomes enraged when stunned. He has more armor. And he attacks fast. He sounds scary. Do I have anywhere else that I could really go, though? I guess I could go down here and up here. <clears throat> There's an equipment chest there. This area. Is he a boss? Yeah, this area also... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, no, he's not an elite. Okay. He's a grunt. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Stream-wise, and even when on Discord, it doesn't sound bad at all. The player isn't annoying me, but I don't know. Everyone is different. Okay, that's good to know. Oh yeah, all these areas are locked anyway, so all I could get is this equipment chest, and then I would have to come back and fight this guy anyway. Because I can't even go down there either. Yeah, I have no choice but to fight this guy. I can grab an equipment chest first. And I may want to do that. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Oh, it shows you the battle you're about to get into, too. I didn't even notice that. That's good. This is very vaguely the battle you're about to get into. Um, 
let's see. So what do we got going on here? A lot of stuff. What are these guys doing? Oh, counter. And they cannot be delayed. They would have to be stunned. They're both doing it? What's he doing? Oh, he's attacking immediately. Unexpected shot. Cannot be delayed, breaks defend. Oh, wow, that's busted. Cannot be delayed, breaks defend, and it fires like almost immediately. That's crazy. And this guy is going to counter. Is, this, is he specifically countering if this guy does something? Because it's aimed at him, right? I'm always confused what this the exact wording here means. <clears throat> Vengeance, 71. What if I do this? I wish I'd get more details on that. Okay. We'll attack target if they attack. Okay, so specifically he will attack him if he attacks. So I don't want to use any of this AoE stuff. Even though Preach would be pretty good right now. So her, if she defends, it's immediately going to be broken anyways. I can sever immediately without... Oh, he's... Wait, is somebody being defended? He's defending him, I guess. Weird. His enemies are complicated, and I don't like it. Okay, he's broken. So he's no longer, like, watching him or whatever. Uh, who's being targeted? Him, but only if he attacks, so just don't attack with him. He's being targeted by two people? Oh, the other one's delayed, so it doesn't matter. Or, uh, broken. That's it. So he's only being targeted by this guy. Who he could break, probably. Probably not with a straight shot. Almost with a straight shot, but not quite. With a blitz, though, he could break the shit out of him. Wait, is that guy still defending him? I don't know. I don't want to take a chance on that. I think maybe I just plant explosives here with him. Or maybe he needs to defend, though, because he's being targeted and he's going to take a lot of damage. Even though I really like the idea of planting explosives. How much damage is she going to take? Not that much, honestly. So what if I have just to have you do peace on him? God, it's so hard to click the right person sometimes. And then I can have him blitz this guy. Oh wait, I was breaking him anyways. Oh my god. Whatever. Pay no mind to me, I'm just doing stupid shit. Okay, and then I can have you bestow shields on her, because she is going to take some damage. Then I can burst shots on... Whoever, really. I could also cover fire you. Let's get an extra, like, attack off. On the back line. I'd rather just burst shot, probably. Okay. She did take a little bit of HP damage there, unfortunately. But it's fine. Okay, that worked out quite nicely. Unexpected shot in vengeance mode. Okay, so he still cannot attack. They're really obsessed with putting the counter on him specifically. And then unexpected shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's see. Can sever to break again. Well, that's actually kill shot. He's super dead no matter what. Did I have you plant last turn, right? Can you detonate? No, I didn't have him plant. Oh, I had him blitz. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's why I was defending him. So that I could have him plant. God, I'm making hella mistakes here. Point is, I can break both of these guys, though, and it doesn't really cost me much. So... I may as well. That guy's just gonna die from, like, and literally anything. 
So maybe I mine knife him. When does my knife go? Right there. Okay, that's fine. And then I go... First shots. On you. And then I have you. Plant explosives. I think I like that. Oh, I still have your turn. Bestow shields on her. She's gonna get hit. For a second there, I thought that was not a kill shot. That would have been devastating. Okay, that went very, very well. Oh, he died from the burning or whatever. That's good. Burning or bleeding or whatever was going on. Oh, stealth. So that just means I can't target him, I assume. Oh, he still gets to do an attack, too. Surgical strike, 204 damage, holy shit. I can hit him with AoE stuff. Don't I have a move on somebody that makes it where they can unstealth somebody? That's what I thought, but I'm not sure. Oh, once they're marked, they cannot stealth, but it doesn't make it where you... Like, you can't hit them while they are stealthed. Hmm. Probably gonna have to defend with him. I'm gonna go and detonate. Oh wait, shit. He's gonna get countered now. Oh no wait, that didn't count as an attack. Oh. I thought the guy at the end of the line was something else. Whatever. Not important. Um, let's see. Oh wait, I can break both of these guys with an AoE, right? Yeah. Actually even just discharge is probably fine in terms of breaking him. Yeah. Oh I got unstealthed anyway. Duh from the explosion. Switch. So good. Mm, let's just discharge. Make sure I get that one break at least. Then... Here he go. He did. Oh yeah, he detonated. That's right. So I want to sever this guy then, probably. Get the break. Then I want to not inspire, uh, stimulate you. Why won't I let me click him? There we go. Let you burst shots for the kill. This guy's super fucked. Straight shot, slash, discharge. Oh wait, don't discharge. Cause that could affect the order. I guess, the, I don't know, defend, doesn't matter. He's dead. My knife, oh wait, that'll affect the order of, I don't want, they go first. Uh, whatever, lady. Uh, go and stimulate her. Oh, yeah, it makes her attack go faster, so it goes now. Sweet. Oh, well, she's already broken. Or he's already broken, rather. First shot. Overkill. My favorite kind of kill. Tree. I'm pretty sure it's okay to touch these creepy bat wing trees. Oh, these trees are actually an invasive species from Batlandia, the bat planet. I read that bat trees are essential to the healthy ecosystem on Dagon, but then again, the study was funded by Battery Industries. Hmm. I already have a level 7 gauntlet. What's my level 7 gauntlet that I have right now, though? Penetrates armor, inflicts shields, extra damage on all attacks. Having extra stagger for his gauntlet would be amazing. Plus damage versus marked. Like, it's not as good in terms of just getting raw damage, but that extra 10 second stagger would be amazing on him. 
that doesn't have stagger, so honestly, I'm not as interested. Reaver chip. I could use more chips. Plus 40% damage on normal attacks. Light attacks I just keep 15 seconds faster. And that I could give to anybody. Considering I already have a gauntlet. But I do have two people who need gauntlets anyway. Let's take another look at that gauntlet. Penetrates armor. Inflicts chilled, plus 28% damage on all attacks. I feel like that's gonna be completely worthless on her because she doesn't have attacks worth a damn. She has one attack that actually damages something. But Stagger is also worthless on her. And the extra damage versus marked, all worthless on her. More damage versus health would be useful on her because the one attack she does have uh, pierces through armor and shields. I'm not gonna take the Pyroblaster for sure. It's between this Reaver chip and the Concussive Gauntlets. God, 10 second stagger is so strong. But like this, I could literally equip to him right now. Just hold on, let's open inventory real quick. Isn't this a normal? Oh, his burst shot's a flurry attack, that's right. Does he have any normal attacks then? Dumb fire is a normal attack. What do you have for chipset? Normal attacks. Sure, slash is a normal attack. That would be good to have slash do more damage, I guess. Sunder also a normal attack. That'd be really good on her, I guess. Light attacks execute faster. Light attacks already execute almost immediately. I don't know how useful that realistically is. Why does my Xbox keep turning itself on and off all freaking day? I hate it. I know you guys probably can't even hear the beeping, so it probably doesn't annoy you. Like, it annoys me, but... Um... Uh, God, I feel like it's really hard to turn this down. I'm just gonna take it. Let's go to level up. Plus 11 health. Degeneration. I think 90 for his next level up. I need to get him to 7. Did I remember to equip your gun? I did. Good. Oh, you actually... Oh, no way. I wasn't equipping a gun. I was equipping this to you, and I forgot. Plus damage versus shields and steel shields. Wait, do I really want that on you? No, that was, that's not right. There was something else that I wanted for you. Maybe it was the laser rifle and it was only level 6. But I thought it was 7, because I'm stupid. I guess plus damage versus shields is good for him, though. It's not bad for him or anything. Okay. Well, let's carry on. Uh, yeah, we gotta go back and fight that boss now. Or mini boss, or whatever the hell they want to call it. But we're actually gonna have to do that next time because the stream is out of time here. Um, when am I gonna play this next? Maybe Friday. I kind of want to finish the chalice dungeons I have left on Friday uh, in Bloodborne. So I don't know. We'll either do that or play this, probably, because crosscode just isn't working for me. I gotta figure out what's wrong with it. Maybe uninstall it and reinstall it. Still want to get back to that at some point, too. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I don't know. We'll come back to this for sure, though. I'm having a really good time. I don't know if I'll still be having a good time once I lose a run and I have to restart, because these runs are long. But uh, the core of what's here is really, really fun. So definitely be back. Uh, thanks everybody for being here. Much appreciated. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. For anybody who might be new here, Monday, Wednesday, Friday are RPG days. Tuesday, Thursdays are strategy days. Sunday's indie day. Saturday, we do whatever the fuck we feel like. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to be playing Spirit Fair again, which, God, the two hours yesterday just flew by like that. Two hours today playing Star Running Games actually flew by ridiculously fast, too. Like, I'm playing some good games right now, guys. 
play these freaking games, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's gonna do it for me today. Tomorrow's Spirit Fair at 8 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye!